After six years of using GoMarge Unified Interface, we have received a lot of great feedback from our customers. At the same time, our simulators have evolved and more features are being constantly added. This year, we are proud to release Giga, the next generation software for our tetherless simulation family. Giga software is easy to use, intuitive, configurable, and utilized throughout the GoMard family of high fidelity simulators. Giga keeps many features used in the GoMard UI while offering the capability of expansion for further development. Once the software is initialized for the first time, the providers will get the GoMard Classic interface, which resembles many characteristics from the GoMard UI. On the left, there will be a panel with a 3D graphic interface of the current simulator. This will be used as a status viewer and at the same time, a vital editor. To the right, the user will find the rest of the controls in an easy to follow array of tabs. A new feature that is shown immediately in the first tab is the virtual monitor. The log box is placed below the array of tabs to reflect feedback of the procedures being performed by the providers. Giga can be used in two different ways. Manual mode. In this mode, vital signs and other responses are changed according to the specifications given by the instructor. Automatic mode. In this mode, vital signs respond automatically to care providers' participation, instructor specifications, and pharmacologic intervention. The model used in this operating mode was developed based on physiologic principles. Features unique to this mode include a comprehensive list of drugs for easy administration and a drug profile editor for adding new drugs or editing existing ones. Note that both modes are able to control all of the simulator features. However, the automatic mode provides more physiologic parameters for modification to allow user to create both simple and sophisticated scenarios. The Status Details panel shows a 3D graphic interface of the simulator that contains the current vitals. The 3D simulator can be seen with opaque or transparent skin. HAL's 3D model has been subdivided into different regions. Each region contains the parameters that can be edited at any time and can be continuously shown to give feedback to the instructor. These regions are cephalic, airway, breathing, cardiac, circulation, bowel, trauma arm, and trauma leg. Once a region is clicked, a regional status window will open to show the available parameters. This window can be locked, allowing constant visibility. It can also be dragged to a desired location. Click on the plus sign on the top right to add more parameters if desired. By locking regional status windows and editing parameter displays, you can create custom status layouts for your convenience. Status layouts can be saved and loaded at any time. Whenever there's a change on a parameter, for instance, when a pallet gets applied, this parameter will blink to give visual feedback to the instructor. At the same time, each individual parameter can be highlighted, and for some, an alarm can be set by right-clicking over it and enabling this feature. There are two different ways to change the vitals on HAL. A single parameter can be quickly modified by clicking on the ellipsis button next to the parameter item and selecting the new value. One or more parameters can be modified by clicking on the ellipsis button on the region's title bar and entering the values in the details editor. Every time a parameter gets modified, a details window pops up with all the parameters ready to be applied immediately or trended over a period of time. This window will also allow the user to save these parameters as a pallet item.
Next to the status details panel, controls are organized in an easy to follow array of tabs. Currently, the first tab is the virtual monitor. The virtual monitor accessible to the instructor reflects what care providers see on their monitors. It also works as a status viewer for the vitals you want to keep track of without having to overcrowd the status panel. The instructor has the capability to select different monitor layouts or create custom ones if desired. To make things even better, the current layout can be wirelessly transmitted to the provider's virtual monitors. This allows the instructor to control what vitals care providers see. Pallet items that have been saved from the details window are displayed in the pallet tab. For visual clarity, pallet items appear in four different colors depending on the desired condition of the patient. Pallet items can be altered at any time by clicking Edit, which opens up a details window, with all vitals arranged per region. They can also be deleted permanently or checked for properties with a simple touch of the stylus. As with the details, the palette items can be applied or saved to a scenario from the Scenario tabs. For simulations to be most realistic, it is beneficial to use scenario-based training sessions. For your convenience, the software comes preloaded with several scenarios to get you started. With HAL, there are two types of scenarios that can be programmed. The normal scenario is a collection of pallet items that play sequentially over a set time period. This is the more straightforward one of the two scenario types.